Jesus. Amen. We are still on the battlefield for our Lord. Ah, what right to say, I fight till I die. And I never run away. Because we are on this uh, mission field for our Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. What right to say, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and to lose his soul? Amen. When it comes to the kingdom, we are wrestling for our soul. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. The book of Ephesians chapter 6. Hallelujah. We read from verse 10 to verse 14. We stand in reverence to the reading of God's holy word. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Put on the whole armor of God that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. That's the struggle with we as people. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Ah, this is power now. And against powers, and against rulers of darkness, of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that he may be able to withstand in the evil days, having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loin girded up with truth, and having the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, take ye the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Hallelujah, somebody. Put your hands together and praise Him. Eternal Father God, we bless your name, we give you honor, we give you praise. Mighty Lord, we pray that you will breathe on the word today. Edify us, mighty God. Glorify yourself as we give you praise in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on and bless the Lord Jesus. Come on and bless the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Finally, my brethren. In the Lord. Hallelujah. In time and like this, we have to be strong in the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Our strength cannot dwell. Amen. In ourselves. Our strength cannot dwell in what we have or our possession. Praise the Lord. Oh, but our strength must be in the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. And so Paul that is telling the church, in time like this, we must be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Why? Because we can do this by ourselves. If we try to make it by ourselves, we will lose the battle. Somebody praise the Lord Jesus. Ah, for the attack of the devil is coming winter. He's so tired like a serpent. And what we need to have is to be strong in the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord Jesus Christ. I see in the word of God here Paul. Ah, a man of God, called by God, sent by God. But at one point, the church. Somebody praise the Lord Jesus. It was Paul who consented unto Stephen dead. When they stole Stephen to death, somebody praise the Lord Jesus. Ah, it was the very same Paul in the book of Acts chapter 9 when the Bible said he made hollow of the church. Somebody praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Why are you going down that road? Because there are some things that is not. 
Christ. And so Paul was there in Christ in the church.
your Lord. Stretch out your hands, stretch your hands up. And say, Satan, I bind you. I bind you with disease. I bind you with curse. I bind you with attack. In the name of Jesus. I can't even bring the soul. See it. Jesus. 